Good evening, I'm Laura Lee. And I'm Dan Wolf. Thanks for joining us. Police today released their final report of the investigation into the deadly shootings at the Cloquet Super A. Bottom line, police say the deadly violence was random and possibly fueled by drugs. You'll remember 32-year-old Nicholas Linnaeus of Ramsey opened fire inside and outside of the Super 8 on January 8th. 22-year-old Shelby Treadle of Cloquet died inside the building while working. Meantime, 35-year-old Patrick Rowers was shot and killed outside while sitting in his car. Northern News Now's Madison Green is breaking down the investigation report and also spoke with one of the victim's family members today. Madison. Dan, Laura, ever since the night of the shooting, police have been working hard to determine a motive for the deadly violence. It appears now, according to the final report from police, there may not have been one. Police now say that Linnaeus did not know either of the victims or have any communication prior to killing them. The Cloquet Police Department conducted interviews, analyzed cell phone data, and now have a toxicology report. That report found methamphetamine inside Linnaeus's blood, suggesting he was under the influence at the time of the incident. Police suspect he may have also been experiencing a mental health episode in addition to the drugs. Interviews revealed that Linnaeus had contacted a co-worker and said he was dealing with, quote, monsters. Tim Treadle, Shelby's father, said he had been aware of this information before it was released today, so it was not a surprise. She'll always be part of our life. She'll always be with me. And there's not a day that'll go by that I won't think of her or, you know, her personality or her great sense of humor. Treadle said the last two months have not been easy and he and the rest of his family will have to continue to adjust to this new normal. I did reach out to the Cloquet Police Department, but they were unavailable for an interview today. They are sending the final investigative reports to the Carleton County Attorney's Office for review and expect to make the information available within the next few days.